Welcome to the Lendlease Project Information Management System Getting Started Course Series, Video 5, Assets and the Asset Panel. In this tutorial video, we'll cover the Asset Panel. We'll work from a standard laptop computer that is already logged into PEMS with a SAM selected and layers loaded. The right half of the PEMS main page is called the Asset Panel. This area of the PEMS interface is dedicated to database information such as asset details, asset management tools, and work communication. On the top right of the asset panel is the asset search button. It looks like a black and white looking glass. When clicked, it will allow you to search for an asset by all or part of an asset code. The first drop box of the asset search function is a filter allowing you to select specific FDAs to search within. By default, the search will look in the entirety of the service area you have loaded. The second drop box is a filter allowing you to select whether you want to look among all created assets, created assets with work against them, or created assets without work against them. Most assets that do not have work assigned will not exist in the database and will need to be created. The third box is your search box. Here you can put all or part of an asset code to search for it. Selecting it from the results will load information about that asset into the asset panel and center the map on its location if the appropriate layers are turned on. On the top left of the asset panel is the asset menu button. It resembles three horizontal white bars. When clicked, it will open a list of asset management tools and pages available to you. Assets can also be selected directly from the map by clicking or tapping on them. Let's try that on this apartment building now. By selecting this multi-dwelling unit, we've asked the database for an image of all the details, work progress, and statuses that pertain to that MDU at the moment we selected it. There's a lot of information on the page that has loaded, so let's take a look at what it all means now. At the top of the asset screen is a block of green text that tells us the land access status of this apartment building. Land access approved means that work may begin on this property. If your land access department has additional instructions to share with you about a property, they will also appear in this land access status box. If the access window has not opened for a property, or the property is placed on hold by your land access department for any reason, this status block will be read and state, Do not construct. This means you should not step foot on the property. If you have questions about a property's land access status, contact your land access department. Immediately below that block is a construction status and child assets. Construction status tells us more about this particular asset. It can be set to in progress, constructed, completed, or non-executable with additional information. This apartment building has 11 child assets, each representing an individual unit. More on this relationship will be covered in a video later in this series. For now, let's use the Asset menu to return to the Overview page. Below Related Assets, we can see the work allocated against this asset. Here we can see the details of each client's schedule of rates, or work the client has assigned to Lend-Lease to complete, including the SOR code, description, and progress. Immediately below each client schedule are any related subcontractor schedules, or work that Lend-Lease has assigned to a subcontractor to complete. We can see who it is assigned to, the SOR code, description, progress, and any related forms that must be completed by the subcontractor. The form can be opened by clicking or tapping on the link displayed. This will open a pop-up with questions and is optimized for use on mobile devices and touch screens. At the bottom of the form are three blue buttons allowing a user to save their progress on a form without submitting it, lock a form for changes and submit it as complete, or cancel the form without saving. Let's cancel for now and return to the Asset Panel. Beneath the SOR list are two more blue buttons. Update Asset will save any changes you have made to an asset by updating the database entry. 
Copy name is designed for mobile users and when clicked, will copy the asset code of the asset you have selected onto your clipboard. This will allow you to easily put full asset codes into mobile emails, texts, and chat messages using your device's paste function.